Hi, I'm Carl James Lankford. Many of you will know me as an archaeologist. I also do deep research and presentations on history. One thing that you might not know is that I've been studying warfare for the better part of most of my life, at, si at least since the early years of comprehensive school. So that's 35 years. So I've looked at the Gulf War one and two in detail. You're looking at the wars like the Boer War, the Zulu War, the First, the Second World War, the Korean War, the war in Cyprus, you name it. I've had a look at it and I've had a take on it. And I would say that the events in Afghanistan over the past two weeks, two weeks, yeah, not two months, not two years, not two decades, past two weeks, there's a president that I've never seen before in any of the histories of war that I've studied. I came back from work on Sunday, 15th of August, just a couple of days ago. I've been putting this video off for days, but I, I needed to do it. And what I witnessed from the media and all the reports coming through was that Afghanistan, the, the government of Afghanistan and the Afghanistan National Army had completely collapsed. And I started thinking about what's what's really happened. And yes, there, there were lots of people out there saying that the women are going to suffer because of the Taliban and there's going to be um, great um, recriminations against the local people and all these other things and that Afghan soldiers are going to be shot in the streets and they're all um, the president, if he was there, would have been hung um, and people would have been executed and there would have been a bloodbath and all these things. That's not happened. Or certainly there's really been no footage or much in the way of images out there or anything. There must be stuff out there, but let's just look at the basics, right? Now, I don't want to keep this video too long, but I want to set my stall. And I don't want to lecture anybody, but there's something very fishy about what's happened to the Afghan army. This is what we're focusing on, not the roles of women in Taliban society, right? That's for somebody else to do. I want us to look at the video. So don't don't get um, upset that I'm not going to look at the roles of women um, being repressed and the roles of democracy being repressed in Afghanistan. But one thing I will say at the top here is that I believe that the Afghan people wanted the Taliban back after 20 years. It's quite a bold statement, isn't it? Quite a bizarre statement. So let's set my stall. On <clears throat> the 11th of the 9th, the 11th of September in the year 2001, it was eight o'clock in the morning. I think it was about eight, eight minutes past eight or something weird like this. I put the television on whilst I was looking after my, um, at my, my newborn, really, Emily. Um, and we, I, I turned the television on and there were people falling out of windows and planes crashing into windows. And I was laughing. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was, I've, I've spoken to other people about this and that day was, it was almost surreal. And the people falling out the windows didn't seem real. It just looked like a comedy. Yeah, I'm ashamed that I thought that. I put on another television station because I thought this bit too much to watch with my with my little girl. And it was on the other chat channel. I thought that's a bit strange. The same film. Oh, I said, and I put it, and, it, and it was all over the media. And I still thought it was a joke, bizarre. But then I realized it was real and the shame that I felt for those people dying in front of me. So then the, then we've got the other war in 2000, 2003. And then I, I one thing I saw about the war in 2003, the, the second Gulf War, was that over the space of six weeks, the Iraqi army slowly, slowly disintegrated but they fought back. Thousands of Iraqi soldiers died, air, aircraft, and so on. But they resisted. 
they actually fought for Saddam Hussein. There were US casualties, British casualties, people died. There was fighting between the 20th of March, 2003, and the 1st of May. But I've got my notes here. We constantly heard about the hidden army of Saddam Hussein. Most of that hidden army didn't exist because it had already been destroyed uh, in 1991 in the First Gulf War. But Saddam Hussein's army did still resist. There, there were minor skirmishes that they were successful at, but mainly the, the, Af the, the Iraqi army just collapsed. It, it completely collapsed. So that starts to make me wonder, even with like this hidden army of Saddam Hussein in Iraq that never, never, never existed, they were still men who were fighting. Over the past two weeks, we've not, over the past two weeks before the 15th of August, where was the footage of the Afghan army fighting? Where were the tanks in the street defending towns across Kandahar, even Kabul? The, the eastern, west provinces and whatever, Afghanistan, 30 million people. Yet there was no Afghan re army resistance. The Taliban just walked in. I'm told that the Afghan army was 360,000 strong, with hundreds of thousands of reservists, aircraft, tanks, everything, all the support that they could possibly need. And the excuse was that they didn't fight because they weren't paid absolute nonsense. So I'm going to set my stall. I don't believe that the Afghan army ever existed in the first place. And if it did, it wasn't 360,000 strong. It was more like 30,000 strong. There were these guys, these guys behind me in, in this frame, they're Afghan National Army soldiers. But these guys, these, these guys are photographed two months before and this is this is basically these these are some of the very few afghan soldiers that did exist i'm probably saying the afghan army was about 30,000 strong against 70,000 taliban fanatics um, the, the afghan army had no chance because it really didn't exist it didn't exist in strength and it didn't and, and then when the Taliban rolled in the space of the past two weeks, there was no resistance. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look at a few images. So let's let's put these images up here. So we're, we're looking we're looking at commando special forces. Uh, they've, they've got all the equipment uh, they're, they're, it's It's provided by NATO billions of pounds of money went into training some afghan soldiers and i went on to the wikipedia page today which is not where i get my information by the way and all the information about 360,000 on the national afghan army page had all been removed and they used the words ghost army and that's what i believe it was it was a real ghost army an army that only marched on paper. Many people, um, you could say that local government officials said, look, we've got 10,000 men, each of them earning th um, $300 a week. Um, you can work out how much money the local officials are making. They're pocketing the money because the army didn't exist. There were special forces, we know that they fought. But there's very little footage of any soldiers fighting in the Afghan army for the past two weeks. You would think, wouldn't you, definitely, that the great heroes of the Afghan army would be, would be photographed and filmed charging into the front, fighting the Taliban. Exactly the same footage that we saw in 2011 in Libya, that we've continually seen in Syria today, and also Iraq in 2003. 
people, the film, the film companies that are paid for by the state in all those countries, film the national army fighting against the enemy, even if they were making it up, even as we saw the footage of 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 of, of Saddam Hussein um, in. Um, in in that wonderful month month of April in Baghdad, where where he's where he's got his men, he's saying, "Look, we're going to win this war." And then, and then in the background, you've got a a, a a German tank, very good, an American tank. Um, but but they're still saying, "Look, we're fighting, we're resisting," right? And the people still believe it. They, there was no footage. I I I I. I I have not seen footage in the media of this great army of Afghanistan fighting anyone. The only footage that we do have is in June and July. This is the 15th of August. Today is the 20th of August. Very little and nothing out there. There were special forces. There were special commando forces. And what we do know, there was some controversy on the... Um, 14th of July, that 22, 22, not 2022, not 220, none of that, 22 special commandos were actually captured on the 14th of July by the Taliban, right? A lot of fuss was made whether they survived, whether they were executed by the Taliban, blah, 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 the Taliban said that they would. The fact of the matter is, these special forces, these 22 guys, that you could you you saw the footage right they they um they they had the, the the headgear they had the night gear they they had all but they ran out of ammunition they couldn't fight anymore right so they surrendered there was no support there was no nobody supporting them there was no aircraft there was nobody in there that there, there was there was nothing supporting these commandos right so you can call them what you want but a month ago just over a month ago these 22 commandos with about eight eight of their colleagues right who were dead due to the fight didn't right those were the bodies that were actually shown by the taliban on footage that were killed these 22 members of special forces forces special commandos that did survive or did whatever there were 22 of them right that amounts to probably a percentage of the afghan army that they had not not um there, there was nothing there no there was nobody helping these guys they surrendered i say that the worst thing to do in war is to surrender but they surrendered and the taliban offered them terms whatever happened to them you can you can write in a box below that they were murdered or whatever right but i am okay it's a tragedy but the fact of the matter is there's only 22 of these guys right this mass slaughter in the street that we're told about where are all the bodies where's the evidence I think we've all been lied to. We've been lied to. That was a month ago. So three, uh, three weeks later, on the 6th of August, right? This is all we've got. This is all we've got. We've got Kabul and a, and a few eastern provinces, right? And that's it. That's all that's left under government control. And this has happened within a week. What this is happening within a week. That's it. That's it. Now, don't tell me that the Afghan army was no match for the Taliban. Of course they were. They were equipped like a NATO army, right? But they couldn't stand up against the Taliban. They couldn't stand up against the Taliban because there's hardly any of them. And you can imagine that there's there's ten there, there's okay there's there's 10 taliban out there and there's you and you're thinking christ i've got to try and man this position against 10 fanatical taliban right you're going to run out you're going to have no support the best thing to do would be to surrender again i don't agree with surrendering but surrender that's what they did so i want to ask you all some questions right up until the 15th of august right where's the evidence of all the Afghan National Army um, equipment, where, 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 where is it all stockpiled? If the Taliban had captured all the vehicles, all the aircraft of the, of, of the military forces of the Afghans, right? The Afghan National Army, not the Taliban, surely they would show it off. We've got a few Humvees and we've got a few sort of armored personnel carrier, carriers and all the rest of it. But the fact of the matter is, 
That's all there is. We've got a few Ford cars wandering wandering down the lane with sort of, you know, stickers on them uh, with um, um, Army of Afghanistan on it. That's all we got. That's all the stuff. With, there's one or two artillery pieces that I've seen, and that's it. That's all we've got. In other words, all this heavy equipment, all this aircraft that the that the army of Afghanistan supposedly have didn't exist. It never existed. Nobody is questioning the nobody is questioning this issue. It's astounding that that nobody in the media is actually asking these questions. Right? The only reference I've got to a ghost army is on that is on the, the Wikipedia page. That's what we've got, right? So let's just let's just get off this a minute. We've got another image coming out. This is from the 21st of June, right? Again, it's two months ago, right? 21st of June, right? Not the 14th of July, the special force, the 21st of June, right? The guys on the, the, the guys in a line there are the Afghan National Army. And the uh, and the armored personnel carriers and the other vehicles in the background, right? And all the, uh, the these vehicles have just surrendered. They 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 uh, the Taliban messengers gone out on the twenty first of twenty um, first of June and said, right guys, there, there's there's a there's a hundred Taliban here, there's two hundred of you guys, you surrender, and they just did. They, I, I watched the video footage, and it's uh, there's these the the the, the guys. The guys in the camouflage gear ain't being battered to death. They don't even have a gun pointed at them, right? They've just surrendered willingly. But that's not a lot of men. That's not a lot of soldiers. That doesn't represent a thousand individuals. That represents a very small number. Those soldiers that knew that they had no support, there was hardly any backup, there was no planes, there was no nothing. Right, they surrendered on the twenty first of June. Can you see that guy? Um, can you see that guy walking towards us there? He's he's got um, he's he's got he's 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 got his uh, ration pack. He's he's got his ammunition pouches and all the rest of it. Right, that guy is an Afghan soldier. Um, he's he's got his arm in front. He's got his um, weapons in front of him. Right, um, you've got a Taliban guy behind him. And he's just he's just wandering in front to add his weapon to the stockpile. This is a guy who's willingly surrendered on the 21st of June. The, the Afghan has said, all oh, right, they probably said, oh, you can either keep your gun or not. It don't matter. Right. You just surrendered. That's all right. We, we got your vehicles. That's it. So there's no intimidation. This this Afghan soldier isn't being battered to death. Right. He's not being tortured. He hasn't got a gun to his head. He's not being so in other words, this guy is willingly surrendered, but this is on the 21st of June. And no, I'm not shooting myself in the foot. I've said there was no Afghan army, and now there's a little bit of an Afghan army on the 21st of June. That's all it ever was. It was a tiny army. This ghost army of 360,000 never existed. We're talking about an army of 30,000 men trying to defend the whole country against the Taliban that's twice the size. Right. Why are we looking at an image of Gaddafi, Colonel Gaddafi, from his glory years? Well, it's quite easy, right? I think I've even shot myself in the foot by saying that the Afghan army had 30,000 men because I don't even think they had that. Because between the 15th of February uh, and the 23rd of October in the year uh, 2011, um, the civil war, the first uh, Libyan civil war against Colonel uh, Gaddafi. We all know that Colonel Gaddafi had a very small army of 40,000 men, and that's all he had. Right? But he had tanks, he had some aircraft, that's it. For years, Colonel Gaddafi was able to keep the country in check. There was, there was a, a uprising, a popular uprising, but obviously half the country was still with him, the other half wasn't. Right. But when 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 we think about it, right, they, this war lasted for for the 15th of February to 23rd of October. Right. So at least eight months of 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 conflict where 40,000 men managed to defend um, um, Colonel Gaddafi's um, smaller and smaller areas of his control. But then again, this lasted for a long time. He had popular support still. 
right? And things, things went bad on the 23rd of October where the civil war ended. The point is, is that Colonel Gaddafi had 40,000 men in arms. We're told that probably up to about 17 to 20,000 went to the rebels. So he had an army of 20,000 men that managed to keep the, the land that he controlled in Libya in check for um, at least eight months. Now, when you think about it, um, the Taliban, we're told, it was invading Afghanistan. They weren't popular. Um, people didn't want them. Um, and they were facing an army um, with popular support. I think that's nonsense. The army, the national army of Afghanistan did not have popular support. The people were not on the side of the Afghan national army. So proof that it fell, whatever there was so quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to readjust my figures. Maybe the army of Afghanistan wasn't 30,000. Definitely wasn't 360,000. Let's say the National Army of Afghanistan, somebody's, somebody's really sort of, um, you know, taking the money for the, for, for the money being paid into the soldiers now. Let's look at the National Army of Afghanistan to try and patrol th um, 31 million people. A vast landscape was probably about 20,000. And naturally, there's no way could they hold up against the Taliban. So that's 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 my next point, right? So so there's no hidden army, right? Never existed. Um, it's it's basically a ghost army. That's all there is: a ghost army supporting a little army that existed, right? So Taliban, there he is. There's a Taliban in the street, um, keeping an eye on the street. One thing you can see in the background, right, is that there's traffic flowing, and there's a market stand on the right. There's a guy with. Um, a Kalashnikov type rifle, right? And the fact of the matter is, everything's fine. There's no death, there's no murder, there's no rape, there's no nothing going on. The streets of Afghanistan are now being patrolled by the Taliban because the real army of Afghanistan wasn't able to patrol the streets because it never existed. Next point. Now, these guys are said at um, Allah al Nah uh, in Afghanistan on the 8th of July. These guys are said to have kept the Taliban out. So let me work that out. That's like uh, five, that's like five weeks ago for the 15th of August. Right. So these guys were defending um, the, the, the city of Allah al Nah. Allah al Nah. That's there. They are. They look very ragtag, but they're certainly those boots at the um, the one in the middle, the one on the left and the right, is definitely got American boots. They've got American service gear, most of them, right? These guys are defending, right? This is what. Well, no, I'm not going to say this is. These are not special forces. These are definitely not special forces. We've already seen what the special forces look like on the uh, 14th of July. Um, but these are not special forces. These, these, these are what the National Army of Afghanistan should have looked like. But you can see that there's not thousands of them walking through the street. If this was uh, an image of a Taliban army, right, there would be hundreds there, not just um, a dozen. Probably a hundred men trying to defend a city with no support. I put this together. Taliban camels beat the tank. Afghan National Army, we surrender. How could a country of 31 million people with an army of over 300,000 not beat the Taliban? The answer, they wanted the Taliban back. The people of Afghanistan wanted the Taliban back. So if you're a Taliban person watching this, a Taliban person, well, maybe you are. If you're an Afghani person wanted, watching this and you're a woman or you're an academic or you're somebody that doesn't like the Taliban, then fair enough, right? But the fact of the matter is, if there were so many of you who didn't want the Taliban back, why didn't you help the army? Why didn't you support the army? Oh, you, you were scared of the Taliban. You weren't scared of the Taliban in 2001 to kick them out. Now, what we do find is that a month ago, there's a report of 1,000 soldiers from the Afghan army running north into Tajikistan and, and um, heading for sanctuary in Tajikistan. They're heading into Tajikistan um, 
and, and they, they, they've run away from the fight in a thousand of them, apparently. That's what we see. This is all we see. This is the this is the only demonstration. I tell you what, if there were 360,000 soldiers, right, armed to the teeth, why don't we have any footage of them running away? All we've got is a report, let's believe it, of a thousand soldiers from the Afghan army of 20,000 um, going in going into Tajikistan, right? They're just fleeing into Tajikistan. And you're thinking, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This is a month ago. Actually, maybe by the beginning of August, I might even smoke in the newsprint and write when I say there was even as many as 20,000. They certainly weren't on the streets of Kabul defending it. This this goes back to this this image again goes back to um, this this goes back to the twenty first of June again. This this is all the uh, equipment the the Americans have supplied. Um, that that guy's Af that 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 guy on the uh, left is Taliban. That guy is um, National Army of Afghanistan. That's Taliban. These are all now falling into Taliban uh, control. Um, and you're thinking, hang on a minute, right? There's no rush to um, take these two guys um, into the care of the Taliban. They're, they're probably thinking, well, you know, this vehicle works. This is all right, you know, and all the rest of it. But the fact of the matter is, again, this is two months ago. This is when a small group of Afghan soldiers, just, they basically swap sides. Look at that guy there. There's, 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 there's a Taliban there. There's this guy, National Army, there's this guy. They're just having a chat. Here's our vehicles, you take them, right? We'll go home to our family. Job done, Bob's your uncle. They're not being bayoneted or stabbed or murdered. And to be honest with you, the footage that we've got of the brave troops of the Afghan army are, neg are negligible. There isn't an Afghan army to fight. There's no footage. If there is, it's very little. And it'd be one or two guys and a donkey defending a, a little village in the middle of nowhere. Now, the other thing as well is, right, this is key. The Taliban would have been very quick to have actually offered us evidence of the surrendering army of Afghanistan. Right. They would have been very quick to basically say, look, this is the army of Afghanistan surrendering. Let's show tens of thousands of them surrendering. There's no footage of that either. There's no footage of mass stockpiles of arms or or weaponry. Where is it? The Taliban can't give us this footage because there's no Afghan army in the first place. There's no Afghan army in mass surrendering to them. There isn't. And if there was, the, Af the Taliban would tell us, would show us the evidence. Nobody's showing us anything. The Taliban ain't saying, look, all these men have surrendered. They're not doing it because they, there's nobody to surrender in the first place. There's no footage of the brave troops of the Afghan army. This guy here is shown shaking the hands of a Taliban and giving over his ammunition. And he's still holding his, his, his arm. He's still holding his weapon. He's still there. He's saying, oh, look, I'm just surrendered to you. He's got his backpack on and everything. He's just surrendered. You know, he could have, you know, whatever he's got there, you know, he could have kept fighting for a little bit longer. He chose not to. He just said, oh, I can't be asked. I'll just surrender to the Taliban. So coming to the end of this video on this massive rant is that uh, I would like to say this, the Western allies have lied to us. There was never an Afghan army. All this money that um, was given to Afghanistan from the taxpayer, our taxpayer in Britain and America, that money's gone into the pockets of officials. If the Afghan army ever existed in August, it was about 20,000. Um, and most of them would have, would. Well, I, I don't think, even think that's right. I, 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 there's nothing. There isn't. And the other thing as well is, where's the Afghan army in the precinct walls of the airport being evacuated? It isn't. It's not there. President Karzai, he left the army with nothing.
because there was it left the army left Afghanistan with with nothing because there was nothing to take with him. So th this last statement, this is basically all there was. The Afghan army was a lie. It marched on paper, a ghost army, wages paid to officials for soldiers that did not exist. Our media has lied to us. Our governments have lied to us. The people of Gap Afghanistan in the main want the Taliban back. Leave Afghanistan alone and let the people of Afghanistan rule themselves. They can have the Taliban, but I'm sick of the media lying to us. I'm sick of the government's lying to us. This has all been a lie. It's been exposed. And one day, the truth will come out. And I just wish that things were like they were in the past. At least, at least things were more transparent than not today. This is Carl James Langford. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join my channel. Let's have your opinion. Let's have your comments. I don't want any death threats, but thank you very, very much. And I'm going to stop the sharing. And um, I wonder where this guy, this guy is now, this officer in the middle. Where is he now? Are these guys fighting for the Taliban now? Were they killed? Were they executed? The fact of the matter is, there's no evidence of mass slaughter of Afghanistani troops. And even if there is, it's in the dozens. And I could probably say that in, in looking at my history of warfare, there's, um, if anyone ever puts this together, you could probably say about a thousand Afghan soldiers died, or maybe a thousand Taliban soldiers died over two weeks. And and the facts and figures would be 20,000 Afghan soldiers versus 70 to 80,000 Taliban. There was no competition. Taliban were going to take this country over anyway. And so rapidly, so quick, it was unbelievable. People wanted the Taliban back, Afghanistan. Carl James Danford, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you very much.